<laughs> I haven't picked up this camera in like, like two months. Okay, maybe I made the video like a month ago, but I haven't picked up this camera in like two months or so. And uh, it feels kind of weird. But hi, welcome back to my channel. If you guys have been catching up with my channel, I said I was gonna be on break taking care of my mental health for I don't know how long, and I wouldn't say I'm completely recovered yet, but I kind of felt like making a vlog today and I thought it would be nice to just catch up and let you know that I'm alive. <laughs> Needless to say, there have been a lot of big changes in my life and I'm here to update y'all. So walk with me through my day because I missed you guys a lot. Okay, so here's a change in my life. Number one change is that I've been drinking a lot of water. I was probably drinking one of these not even maybe a day so like my breath always smelled like fucking dank ass No, I'm just kidding, but my breath was always so fucking damn dry because I didn't drink enough water And now I have juicy luscious lips and very nice skin because I drink a lot of water, okay? My skin has cleared up a lot. Do you remember my skin? I will insert a clip I will insert a clip, but do you remember my skin from back then? My skin was breaking the hell out. But now I drink five of these a day, so I'm healthy and hydrated. Who knew water tasted so good? Also, I have a really tight space here where my kitchen is, so you might not be able to see my face, but uh... Just, just bear with me, cause... <laughs> Alright, since I'm a lazy piece of shit, I order meal kits. <sighs> Yo, speaking of shrimp... I haven't had shrimp in like... Actually, I had shrimp last week. But you'll never know what type of shrimp.
It's so hot in here. I've been running the oven for more than half an hour. It's empty. Do you see me? I'm so bald right now, mate. Anyways, we made this really nice chicken dinner. It's not even dinner. It's like, what time is it right now? It's, it's 12.48. It's not even 1 p.m. yet. And I made dinner. Shit. Here's a piece of chicken. Very juicy, very nice. Mm. Also, if I talk about why I've been off YouTube a little bit more in depth, I just want to say that I hated my camera. Not like what my camera is, like not like I hate that my camera is a Canon G7X. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like my relationship with my camera. When I look at my camera, there was a lot of things that reminded me of certain things or certain events that I didn't really want to remind myself of. So I would like to say that it's been really difficult for me to use this camera or like make content because my relationship with my camera was pretty ass for a long time. So I needed some time off to rekindle or like reconstruct my relationship with my camera or like content creating. Cause like I said, I want to enjoy content creating. I don't want content creating to be something that like I have to do or just because I have a brand deal, I need to make a video now. And yes, there is a brand deal in this video, but I also want to let you guys know that it's not just because I have a brand deal that I am making this video. It's um, I would like to say I was kind of waiting for the day that I felt like I wanted to make a vlog or I felt like I wanted to make content because it's been a while. So when I got the feeling this morning, I was really happy because that's how it should be. I should want to make content, not make content just because. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> but the chicken's really good. Also, I have noticed that as I'm getting older, I'm becoming a lot more like introverted or like shy. I'm not introverted. I'm very extroverted, but like more introverted than before. Like, I don't think I've ever been this introverted. Like me meeting new people now, I'm just I'm like shy. I'm like, I think my friend group was talking about, oh, let's go to like Fright Night. Fright Night is like a horror, like haunted house event at the PNE. Like, okay, let's go to Fright Night. And they're like, okay, I'll make a group chat. And I go into this group chat and there's like three people I don't know. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, you, you didn't think it was important to let me know Know that there was gonna be three new people and he's like why like you're not awkward with people and I'm like yes I am I'm shy is that just like me or like do you, did you guys go through that too or like you know I don't know let me know in the comments I don't know guys did I tell you that I've been like ordering so much shit lately like I have been ordering packages from like left right front back and center and like look at this I have so many packages that's like how many packages is that that's like one, two, three, four, five. That's like almost six packages just like lying there. I haven't, those packages have been sitting there for like a week, but there is one package that I really do want to open today. And that package is from Casefy. Welcome back to my channel, Burritos. But right before I get into the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Casetify, for sponsoring this video today. They sent me four cases today and I absolutely love them. I got this one that says worldwide. This one says, you're my favorite person in the world. This one says duty-free goods. And this one is just a clear case. The thing I love about Casetify cases is that the protection is absolutely phenomenal. They have this thing called EcoShock technology, which is embedded in the iPhone 4 Impact series. And it has 20% increased protection. All the borders and the sides of the camera are raised. So if you ever happen to drop your phone, especially the camera, Area, it'll have extra protection so you don't crack anything. What's even cooler about this case is that it has X5 military standard, which means that it's been drop tested 130 times with no worries. That was good! So all I can say is the protection on this phone is phenomenal. And I'm probably sure that you're thinking that these cases are really hard to hold because they have a lot of protection on them or they might be really bulky. But I can assure you these cases are not bulky at all. They are actually very slim and sleek. My small hands have no problem holding these cases at all. I also love the feeling of this case. Like the grip is really secure. Like it's not slipping anywhere. It's it's not too big, it's not slippery, because my hands also sweat a lot, my hands get very clammy, and I don't think I would drop this anytime soon. For the phone design, I know I got pretty basic cases for today just because that is my taste in phone cases. I don't like anything too fancy, but I can 100% assure you that Casetify has a case for everyone. They've worked with over 300 artists and have a massive variety of cases that you can choose from. Casetify's cases are also compatible with MagSafe wallet and power banks, as well as wireless charging. They also sent me this really cool accessory. They sent me a strap, and I'm gonna show you guys how to attach the strap onto your case. So with the strap, here comes the strap attachment, and you're going to pick your favorite case and loop it through make sure it's secure like that you're going to put your phone case inside so it loops in like this so it's really stable and then you're going to take your strap with the little hook here and you're going to hook it through the loop and there you have your strap so now you won't have to drop your phone anywhere you can just hang it out on your on your 
What do you call this? You can just hang it on your neck and not have to worry about it. You know what this would be perfect for? This would be perfect for going on a night out because you know when I party, I keep forgetting my shit everywhere. <laughs> I just wanna say the quality of these cases feels so great. And if you've been watching me for a while, you guys know I don't advertise anything that I do not actually like. And I am telling you the quality of these cases are phenomenal. Feels so sturdy. Another thing that's really cool is that you can customize your case. I didn't choose to customize the case today because I just liked the prints already as is. But if you go into the Case Defy website, they do have customization options with whatever case you want, how much protection, and you can put your name with different fonts and change the color. And there's a lot of options that you can have on the website. So please go check it out. Also, lastly, for you environmental junkies out there, Case Defy takes any case and recycles it into a new one. So far, approximately 51,000 cases have been recycled with re slash Case Defy. 65% that being recycled or plant-based materials. So needless to say, Caseify is pretty sick and is good for the earth and the environment as well. So I don't see a reason why you wouldn't want a case from Caseify. If you would like to get one of these sick cases, my link right here will also be in my bio. Click on it and you can get a 15% discount on your first Caseify case. Again, thank you Caseify so much for sponsoring this video. I really love my cases. And let's get back to the video. I usually practice in my living room because as you can tell, it's very big. <laughs> if you know something about me, I have a Taekwondo background. I've been doing Taekwondo for roughly 11, 12 years. It's been a while. I started when I was nine and I used to be very competitive. Now, here's the thing. I had a four to five year break in between and I just got back into the game last month. <laughs> I got back into Taekwondo. If you see my other vlogs, I've trained here and there just for fun, but I've actually just gotten back into the game like officially a month ago. Now, here's the thing. I am competing official sparring and Pumse tomorrow. <laughs> yesterday and I had to get new arm and shin gear because the other ones that I used to use when I, back when I was like 15 or 16 didn't fit anymore and they were way too stinky and old so I bought new ones. I am stressing the folk out. Look at this. But I do. I got rock hard abs. <laughs> uh, so who's fucking winning? Uh, me. <laughs> Holy shit, do you, have you seen my bruises, dude? Every single week sparring, I come home with a new bruise. This one, this one. It looks like I have an abusive boyfriend for fuck's sake. Like, look at this shit. See, I got a bruise like, like here. And then, where's the other one? A bruise back here. Like, I don't even know how I get these, dude. And then I have this, and then I have this. See, the story behind it is this. I didn't have these babies before, so I was just training with no gear. So every kick that flew, I just blocked it with no gear. This is why I have all these bruises, okay? And I'm not trying to prove anything, be like, oh my god, I'm so strong because I didn't wear any gear and I took all these kicks with no gear. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that it fucking hurts! It hurts! So I got gear. So we're gonna sit at home and do some basic footwork and shadow sparring. Look at this, so shiny. Wow, Adidas? Adidas, please sponsor me, Jesus. I also just noticed that whenever I talk about Taekwondo, I get hyper excited. Might be a good sign. Basically, what shadow sparring is, is there's no, there's no someone there. You just imagine the person in front of you, and you do a shit ton of footwork. And it looks stupid because no one's there. <laughs> but I guess it's just like a visualizing exercise. Ow. And yes, complaining is a part of the way I cope before a tournament. <laughs> you know what I'm worried about? I'm worried that the gear will feel too heavy when I do compete because I haven't worn gear for a really long time. Because usually we do train with gear on, but I didn't have gear, so I kind of train with gear. And this stuff is, it's really tight. It's heavier than it feels. Yo, look at these calves though. You see these calves, man? Shit. You know what, if you think about it, 
Competing is basically you paying for a tournament to spar someone from another gym, right? So it's not really that different than you just going over to someone's gym and just asking to spar them. It's just that when you're competing, it's either you kill or you get killed. I am so not ready. <laughs> See, the thing is, I'm competing officials, and this is all the stinky sparring gear that I probably have to wash before I compete tomorrow, because I'm not wearing this. Also, when you fight official, it means that you're sparring electronically. So we're gonna have these, like, foot pads on. They have magnetic sensors that connect to magnetic sensors on these chest gears, or these chest guards. But it's not this one, this is just a regular one that has no sensors, but when you go to the tournament, they'll have them ready for you. Also, these things are so funny. <laughs> you have to like put them through your toes. <laughs> I haven't worn full gear in a very long time. This is my first time competing in five years, and like I said, I'm shitting my pants. Kinda looks sick though, don't you think? <laughs> yeah! Whenever I go to tournament, I have this thing. When they give me my chest gear, they, they'll assign you a color. So you're either red or blue, okay? And red is my color. I never put on blue because blue is not my color. I Red is. So if they give me blue at the tournament, I will shit my pants because my color is very important. I, you give me blue, you're basically... All the matches that I had blue chest gear on, I lost. Oh my god, this mouth guard. This mouth guard. Bitch, this mouth guard was molded into my mouth. Ooh, Adidas case. Uh, this mouth guard was molded into my mouth like when I was 16. So tiny. Look at this. I, you know what? I'm gonna rinse this out because I haven't worn this in five years and it's kind of disgusting. You know what? I also just wanted to say that I feel really good filming today. I, I just needed to say that. <laughs> Anyways. This is what my mouth looks like. I don't even know if it's molded properly. I might have to remold this. I look so stupid. Like, in tournament, we have to key hop, right? Fucking damn it. It's like Invisalign. <laughs> it's like Invisalign, but thicker. We have to key up, which means we have to yell like that, right? When you wear this, it's so stupid. It's like, oh. <laughs> oh. See? <laughs> When you don't have anyone to put on your chest gear for you, you have to do it yourself. I'm never getting a visa line. It sounds so fucking. It sounds so fucking stupid. I literally, when I go into competition, I can't take people seriously because every time I look at the face, they look like this. Or how am I supposed to take you seriously when you look like this? Ooh. Also, this is a nice ass legend. You want to see how stupid the helmet looks? Look at this helmet. I'm gonna have to try my hair up. <laughs> oh my god! Bitch, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry this video segment is so long, but holy shit, do you- Oh, this is my- when is this from? This is back when I was 168 centimeters when I was competing. I'm 172 centimeters now, so 2016. 168 centimeters, 58 kilos. I'm now 172 centimeters and 60, maybe 60 to 62 kilos? And not chip chop. Like flat. <laughs> I look so stupid. Would you able to would you be able to take me seriously if you were to fight me on the ring? Cause I don't think so. Get like this, moving unknown, I don't need no bitch I thought I got any time
tell me the day that you boys is pathetic, don't come to my session That's in these shots, ain't no point in suppression I know I'm really gon' see me, so I'm blessings, so I'm blessings, so I'm blessings I ain't just talking about getting these statics and fucking these bitches and breaking they back I'm talking safety for all of the fam, but always stay happy to enjoy the bands Growing up, I always had me a plan, things come around, I'm So that's roughly a two minute round and then you get a 30 second break. Whoa. Whoa. For what? <sighs> Obviously at the tournament I won't be wearing a jacket, but I'm wearing a jacket just so I can get used to how hot it is. Cause over there, adrenaline's gonna be pumping and it's gonna be hot as fuck and I'm gonna die. So, <sighs> so if someone comes in, I go, <laughs> Pisses me off when someone does that. I'm trying to go like, like uh, uh, uh. Ow! Ow! Oh, Guys, I know I'm not supposed to be using my camera while I'm driving, but I just wanted to say the sky is fucking beautiful today, mate. Like, my drive has been immaculate. Like, you see the sun, like the pink sun back there? I don't know if you can see that. Probably can't, but it's so pretty. You know what? A random habit that I've been having, like, recently is just say thank you random times throughout the day, and I'm gonna say thank you for this beautiful drive because... I don't drive often. I don't have a car anymore. So this is my mom's car. I'm currently going into weigh in for my competition tomorrow. I have to be under 62 kilograms, which I did weigh before I left the house. So I'm sure I'm under 62. I'm so hungry right now. I'm actually so cranky because like that chicken I ate in the morning was literally the only thing I ate and I'm so hungry. So we might get something to eat after this. I think it's great just to be thankful for, you know, living. <laughs> I feel like I've been complaining about so many things in my life that I never really needed to complain about So I've been trying to be more thankful about things that I already have lately And you know what? I feel like I'm seeing the world in a different lens Because I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or it's just that I've changed my perspective on the world But like everything just looks very beautiful <laughs> Like the sky right now and me 